Hello everyone. Today we are going to see characteristic equation and characteristic roots. Note that characteristic equation and characteristic roots can be only find for square matrix. So here we have taken matrix A of order two by two. Its characteristic equation is given by. We have taken characteristic equation characteristic as a CH. So it is given by this is determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to zero. Okay. So how this we got here? This is we got from one matrix. That matrix is called as a characteristic matrix. What is this matrix here? A minus lambda i, where a is this given matrix. Lambda is here scalar, and i is Unit matrix of order same as that of order A. Now, by putting all this here, we will get this characteristic matrix. From this, we will get determinant. This is here determinant of A minus lambda i. So, by putting all this value, we get this is here. Yes. So, this left side of this equation is. Determinant two by two determinant and we know how to solve this is here. How to solve this is this is by taking cross multiplication. So we will solve this is here. Yes, we got here one equation in lambda in variable lambda. So this is a characteristic equation for this matrix A here. So now observe that this is quadratic equation. This is the equation having degree two, so we can find these roots here. How to find roots here? We know that by doing factorization of this one, we get this is here. So on simplification, we will get this is lambda is equals to one, and this is lambda is equals to two. So these values of lambda are called characteristic roots. So we get here. Characteristic equation and characteristic roots. Now we can find this is by one simple method. What we have to do, we will write this characteristic equation in general form. Since we have this matrix of order two by two, so we will write here characteristic equation as this is lambda square minus yes one lambda plus yes two is equals to here zero. So what is here? We have taken here plus minus alternate sign. So here we have plus. This is plus sign here. We have we have minus and this is again plus. So what is S one here? S one is here sum of diagonal elements, right? This is sum of diagonal elements and we know this is also called as a trace. Yes, and what is S two? S two we have to take. This is a determinant of that given matrix A. Now we can find S one here. Sum of diagonal elements. What is here? This is diagonal elements three and zero. So its sum is here three. And what is S two? How to find determinant for this matrix here? So this is by doing cross multiplication. So three into zero that zero. And this is minus one plus two, so that means we get here. This is zero plus two, so this is here two. So by putting this value in this equation, we get here. This is lambda square minus. What is the value of s one? This is three. Lambda as it is plus s two. S two is here. This is we have find s two that is determinant. So this is we get here characteristic equation. Now observe that this is the same as we have find. This is by previous year. So this is the simple method for finding characteristic equation for two by two matrix only. Now we will find how to find characteristic equation for the matrix of order three by three here. So what is here? We have characteristic equation. This is determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to zero, right? So we will solve this is by our simple method. 
in general we will write that characteristic equation as a this is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equals to 0 right so this is here we have taken alternate plus minus sign so here we have plus minus plus minus so we will check here what is s1 s2 s3 so what is s1 this is sum of diagonal elements what is s2 sum of minus sum of minus of this diagonal elements sum of minus of diagonal elements and what is s3 this is the determinant of this matrix a here so we will find here one by one what is s1 now s1 is here this is diagonal elements 1 plus 2 plus 3 so we will write here so what is here that is here 6 and what is s2 we will write here what is s2 sum of minors of diagonal element diagonal elements it's minor okay so we have this is diagonal element 1 so it's minor by avoiding these elements right remaining elements we have to write in determinant yes so uh, minor of this 2 so minor of this 2 here we will write what is minor this determinant avoiding this element in which that element lies so here we have 1 minus 1 2 3 then minor of this 3 what is minor of 3 avoiding third row and third column so this is 1 0 and 1 2 okay now we will solve this is here what is simplification of this one yes this is 6 minus 2 this one is here 3 minus minus get plus and this is here this is 2 minus 0 okay so this is here 6 minus 2 this is 4 plus 5 plus 2 so we get here this is 11 so we got here s2 11 now we will find s3 how to find s3 now this is the value of determinant so we will solve this is by first row so 1 into minor of this 1 so this is 2 1 2 3 then 0 minus then minus of 0 into minor of 0 right so we will not write that then then we have this is plus minus of 1 into minor of this minus 1 so here we have this is 1 2 in second row we have 2 2 okay so on simplification so we get here s3 is equals to 6 here now we get here all these values so we will put in this equation so what is here so characteristic equation is given by by putting all this value so lambda q minus s1 s1 is here we got this is here 6 so 6 lambda square plus s2 s2 is here this l1 so this is characteristic equation now this is a cubic equation that means this is a equation having degree 3 and we know we can find its roots so how to find the roots of this one we know we can factorize this is as a so factorization of this one here this is factorization so by solving this we get here lambda is equals to 1 for this factor and lambda is equals to here 2 3 for this factor yes so what is here lambda is equals to here 1 2 3 we get and this is here called as a characteristic roots so in general we have to write characteristic equation for matrix of order 3 as like this one yes and observe that we have to take here alternate plus minus sign so this is we have find characteristic equation for the matrix of order 2 and 3 we have to remember only that we have we can find characteristic equation and characteristic roots only for a square matrices so this is all about characteristic equation characteristic roots
Thank you.